But what made them different from celiac disease was that they didn't have the antibodies in the blood that are typical for celiac disease. Again, a clue that this was not celiac disease um, and made us look further. And I think when a doctor sees a patient like this with a severe syndrome that seems like, we call it refractory celiac disease, think about the possibility of could this be a drug associated intestinal damage. And in that context, consider stopping the drug. Any reason for people who are well and on a medication like this that works very well for the blood pressure, there's no reason for them to stop the drug. And certainly what we're reporting is not a reason to do that. If the person is having a lot of GI symptoms, especially diarrhea, unexplained weight loss, or perhaps if they've been diagnosed with celiac disease, then they should discuss this with their doctor. But they definitely should not change their medication. They, this is a, a, a very important medication for an important disease, high blood pressure. So I think it's important not to change anything without a very good reason, and it should be under the supervision of their doctor. We've reported an association. Um, what needs to be done next is science. We need to understand why there is such an association. We also need to understand if this could apply to other related medications, not just Olmosartan, as we've seen.